I was contacted by Vance in Western Australia. He's building a Stornoway 18 like this, and he wanted some information about the rigging. So Vance, this is for you and anybody else that's interested in a Stornoway 18. The first thing is to raise the mast, and this is easily done single-handed. It's hollow and made from Douglas fir and extremely light. I just use the Genoa halyard to pull it up. I'll attach the forestay later when I'm off the boat. Then it's a matter of simply taking out the mast support and slotting in the freestanding mizzen. and this is held in place by a wedge. The mizzen is really easy to raise. There are two small halyards. One's attached a third of the way along the spar. This is the peak lift, and the other is attached to the front of the spar, which provides upward tension on the luff. The mizzen sheet passes through an eye on the boom and then two eyes on the aft deck, and then through a cam cleat. The tack has a 6mm line that passes through a jam cleat and allows it to act as a downhaul. All in all, it's a simple rig and easy to set up. Morning. That's a beautiful one. Thank you very much. And next it's on to the main. Now the main halyard goes through a double block at the top of the mast. It then comes down and is attached to the spar about a metre in with a shackle goes back to the top of the mast and then comes down again and is attached about two-thirds of the way along the spar using a bowline. This acts as the peak lift. The main sheet block and the downhaul are both attached using quick-release shackles. I then attach another halyard to the front of the spar. This also goes through a double block at the top of the mast. It pulls the throat of the main up and creates luff tension. To pull the main up, it's simply a matter of pulling both halyards at the same time and adjusting them until you get the right angle. and once on the water it's easy to adjust the peak lift and the downhaul to get the right shape. Now off the boat I can attach the forestay. So I've got sails up. Now you can see Kate Louise is a lug sail yawl. She's not actually a gaff, she's a lug sail yawl. Now a lug sail means that the front of the sail or the luff of the sail is in front of the mast and it's also a standing lug sail because there's no boom. If it had a boom, it would be a balanced lug sail. And the reason it's a yawl is the mizzen is behind the rudder, not in front of it. So it's the lug sail yawl. If it was a gaff rig, the front of the sail or the luff would be attached to the mast. This is not. So strictly speaking, for those purists out there, it's a lug sail yawl. Now on the mizzen, you can see a crease in the sail from the throat or the top left to the clue, the bottom right of the sail. To get rid of this, it's simply a matter of adjusting the peak lift and the downhaul when you're out on the water. It can be slow to turn because there's no centre board, there's just a skeg keel. It goes really fast running or on a reach and points probably 35 to 40 degrees into the wind when tacking. It doesn't point as high as the Bermuda reach, but that's okay. Speed's not everything. It's the journey. It's getting there, you know what I mean? What I love about a Stornoway 18 is she combines traditional sailing with classic looks and all in a trailer sailor. And something else I meant to show you was my replacement paddle. Remember on the last video I lost my paddle? Came off over the side so I've made another one this last week. 
laminated Oregon pine merbau and another hardwood. And I've actually made it about 20 centimeters longer than you would make a normal canoe paddle so that you can kneel on the seats and paddle over the side with these. And I've put a, a rope tie in it so this time I can uh, clip it off and not lose it. <laughs> anyway, Vance, I hope some of that helps you. Uh, I hope the pictures show what I've got. It's not the be all and end all by any means. I'm sure there are variations people can make, um, but this works for me. So that's Kate Louise, my Stornaway 18, and some of the rigging detail. Thanks for watching.